Hello everyone, welcome back to the Nerd Cave. This time I'm kind of intertwining uh, my hobbies, which video games and comic books. Comic, well, they both kind of start at the same time. But I'm doing a better late than never review of Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, mine is still sealed because it came on Game Pass, so that's how I played it. So I'll probably just keep it sealed because, to be honest with you, while it is a great game, there's no reason to replay it. I couldn't find a reason to replay it other than maybe to completely upgrade like the three things I missed for Peter Quill. But um, this game is a love letter to Marvel Comics fans of Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, there were things in it that the writers, that there were six of them, they actually had to read the comic books. They couldn't just read a wiki or anything. They had to read, you know, the Infinity Gauntlet behind me or Infinity War, um, the Warlock Chronicles, uh, some of Annihilation... Like, it's just stuff that they haven't even shown you in the Marvel Cinematic Universe yet. And they probably won't because that's kind of going the way of the Dodo now. Just Phase 4 is just... In my opinion, I haven't enjoyed... I mean, WandaVision was cool. Falcon and the Winter Soldier was alright, but it was boring. <sighs> haven't watched Loki. I just had no desire. I need to watch What If because I love that comic book series. But yeah, anyway, back to the game before I start rambling. Um, it's kind of like a squad-based shooter. If you've played uh, Star Wars Republic Commando, it's kind of like that, just a little more streamlined. You only play as Peter Quill. You control him, but with the D-pad and the bumper buttons, you control Gamora, Drax, Rocket, and Groot, and they all have special, uh, special moves you can unlock, uh, special um, what is it? environmental interactions. But um, some people, I remember reading reviews about it, they said that the combat kind of irked them. And I'm like, oh, combat was fine. This is, this is how the Marvel's Avengers game should have been done. Five heroes, Legacy, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Hulk, and let's throw Ant-Man in. You know, and then instead of just only being Cap, you can pick which character you want to be in each level. Um, and then you control the other Avengers. Instead, they made it into some non-legacy, microtransaction, horseshit game that I picked up for $9 off Gamefly. So they didn't get my money. Gamefly did. But Square Enix got my money for this game because it was actually good. No microtransactions. Unfortunately, no co-op, which would have been cool. But I had a hell of a time playing it by myself. Um, God, just the characters you get to meet in here that you haven't seen in the Marvel Universe and haven't even been hinted at in the Marvel Universe yet. It's just, I like, I like, like, um, most of the designs are, like, the, the, the standard designs are made by Square Enix, and they're, they're really good, and then you unlock, like, Peter Quill's Annihilation garb, their Four Horsemen garb, the original garb. It's really neat, and I really enjoyed it. Um, it's on Game Pass right now, but I would say pick up a copy new from a retailer so that Square Enix gets the point that we want games like this. Singer player, story driven, comic book accurate, actually cared about the characters, not just the cash grab. Um, it's a great game. I highly suggest it. And um, play. If, have you played it? Let me know. Have you read any of the books that I was talking about? Let me know. Um, or did you just kind of give up with the Marvel games after you got burned on Avengers. Because I I did play the demo for the Avengers. I remember that. And I enjoyed the hell out of the first part where you're like saving San Francisco and Captain America dies. But then when you got to play as as, as Miss Marvel, it just kind of was unfun. She's not a legacy character. She's been around for maybe five to six years. I want to play as Cap. I want to play as Iron Man. Like, I, that's what I want to do. Sorry. That's life. Um... Just legacy characters. That's why sometimes some of the Resident Evil games, they have to have Chris, Jill, Claire, or Leon. This, the weird offshoot games like Dead Aim and Survivor didn't do as well because you need to have your legacy characters. Sorry, that's life. Um, Resident Evil 7 was the offshoot of that, but the game was so damn good, it didn't matter. But I'm rambling again. Anyway, Resident Evil games are great. 
This game is great. Highly suggested. Play the hell out of it. Let Square Enix know you want more games like this without any microtransactions and those six writers who actually read and enjoyed the comic books and gave a shit. Love the game. One nerd thumb up, which is the highest you can get. 